Hi, I'm Eva Murphy from Electronic Engineering at IT Sligo, and this is my Leave Insert Maths Grinds channel. I'll regularly add new videos for both higher and ordinary level maths, so make sure you subscribe below and click the bell icon to be notified of new videos. Okay, so, so let's have a look at this third question on, on, on patterns. So express the nth term of the number pattern minus 1, 13, 51, 125247 as a cubic polynomial. Okay, so a cubic polynomial is just Tn being equal to, and it's cubic, so it's just the general term. So Tn is equal to An cubed plus Bn squared plus Cn plus D. Okay, so that is all, all, all it means by that. Okay, and it is cubic, that's how I knew to start with the An cubed. Um, and you can see there's four unknowns in this, um, A, B, C, and D, okay? And the other piece of theory, we went through the theory of the cubic, okay, in the previous video. The, the, the other thing you need to know is that the third difference is equal to 6A, okay? So we get this term A from knowing that the third difference is equal to 6A. Okay, and, and I'll explain what that means now in a minute. So let's let's see if we can find that third difference, okay? So we have to find the first difference first. So minus one to 13 is a difference of 14. 13 to 51, I'm popping on my calculator here because I could very easily make a mistake. Uh, one to five minus 51 is a difference of 74. And two, four, seven minus one, two, five is a difference of one, two, two. Okay, so that's the first difference and it quite clearly isn't the same. So it's not a linear pattern. pattern. Okay, um, so let's get the second difference now, which is the difference of the difference. So what I'm doing is 38 minus the 14 is a difference of 24. Uh, 74 minus 38 is a difference of 36. And 122 minus 74 is a difference of 48. Okay, so it's the second difference is not the same, so it's not a quadratic uh, pattern. So let's go for the third difference. So 24 to 36 is a difference of 12. 48 minus 36 is a difference of 12. So just like we expected, the third difference is the same, or it's a constant. Therefore, it's cubic, okay? So therefore, we can let 6a equal to that third difference, which was 12, and divide across by 6, a is equal to 2, okay? So we had said that the general form or a, of a cubic polynomial is a n cubed plus b n squared plus c n plus d. I'm going to fill in my 2 that I've just found for a. So 2n cubed plus bn squared plus cn plus d. Okay, so that's as far as I've got with my um, tn formula. So I now need to find b, c, and d. Okay, so three unknowns, therefore I'll need three equations. You always got to match the number of unknowns to the number of equations. So you can take any three terms you want out of the five that's given to help you set up three simultaneous equations. Now, I generally take T1, T2, T3, just to keep the maths easier, but you can take any ones you want, okay? So let me show you what I do with T1. N has now taken on the value one. So I let it equal to one everywhere along. And it's equal to whatever was the first term, whatever was your T1 in your in your formula, okay? Because isn't he T1, he's T2, T3, T4, T5, okay? So I'm letting it with n equal to one equal to this minus one up the top. Okay, so then let's work it out. One cubed is one by two is two, plus one squared is one by b, plus c plus d is equal to minus one, okay? And let's minus two from both sides. So I get b plus c plus d being equal to minus three. Okay, so that's my first equation set up. 
let me set up my second equation, so T2. So in this case, n takes on the value of 2. And it's equal to whatever is your second term, 13 in this case. So 2 squared is 4, y2 is 8, plus 2, 2 squared is 4b, plus 2c, plus d being equal to 13. Let's subtract 8 from both sides. So I get 4b plus 2c plus d being equal to 13 minus 8, which is 5. Okay, so that's my second equation set up. Let's set up my third equation. So in this one, n assumes the value of 3 plus b times 3 squared plus c times 3 plus d. And that's equal to whatever your third term is, which is 51 in this case. Okay, so three squared, three threes are nine, by two is 18, plus, oh, that should be cubed. Ah, and I did the same back here, didn't I? Okay, two cubed, two twos are four, four twos are eight, by two is 16, so apologies if anyone was following the video and did that wrong. So I need to subtract 16 off both sides. So 13 minus 16 is minus three, okay? Uh, two twos are four, four twos are eight, two twos are 16. Yeah, okay, that looks okay. Um, so over here, three cubed is 27 by two is 54 plus, 3 squared, 3 threes are 9 by b, plus 3c, plus d is equal to 51. So just like before, minus the 54 from both sides. So I get 9b plus 3c plus d being equal to minus 3, okay? And that's my third equation, okay? So I now need to solve these. So I'm going to pop over here and write them, so b plus c plus d is equal to, I've forgotten, minus one. That was my first equation. My second equation, 4b plus 2c plus d, 4b plus 2c plus d was equal to minus three. And my third one, 9b plus 3c plus d was also equal to minus three. Okay, and we normally label these one, two, and three. And if you remember your x, y, z type simultaneous equations, you have to take pairs of these together, okay? I'm going to cancel D um, as my first letter, so it doesn't really matter what order I take them in. I'm going to take one and two together. So I have B plus C plus D being equal to minus one and I have 4b plus 2c plus d being equal to minus three, okay? Let's change the sign up the top, put a line under it, 4b minus b is 3b, 2c minus c is c, and minus three plus one is, 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 is minus two, okay? And I generally call him equation four, and we have to park him for now. Okay, doesn't matter again which ones I take. Let's take equation one and equation three. So I have B plus C plus D being equal to minus one. So the maths in these types of simultaneous equations tends to be okay, as in easy enough numbers, but just so easy to make a mistake, okay? So change the sign, change the sign, change the sign, change the sign. My D's are cancelled. So 9B minus B is 8B. 3C minus C is 2C. Uh, minus 3 plus 1 again is minus 2. And that's my equation 5. Okay, so my D's are cancelled. You take equation uh, 4 and 5 together then. Um, so what was important here was that I cancelled the same letter in both, okay? Um, why? So that you're left with two unknowns now and you can bring these two with two unknowns together and solve, okay? So it's just like the simultaneous equations now we had with, um, with the quadratic, okay? 
So I need to multiply the top one by two. I'm going to cancel the C's. So I'll end up with two threes are 6B plus 2C being equal to minus four. And of course I need to do nothing to the bottom one. 8B plus 2C is equal to minus two. Okay, change the sign, change the sign, change the sign. My C's will then cancel. 8B minus 6B is 2B being equal to minus two plus four is plus two. So therefore B is equal to one. Okay, so then you sub back in and you sub back into either four or five, okay, because that only has two unknowns. The reason you can't sub back into one, two or three is because if you subbed back in for B in any of these, you would then have two unknowns, okay, uh, because remember you have C and D. In these two, D is cancelled which means you can sub back in for B and therefore solve for C. And then when you have B and C, then you can go back to either one, two or three and solve for D. Okay, so I'm going to sub back into, I'm looking at, at four and five and I'm trying to see which one is easier. It doesn't really matter. They both look much the same. So I'm gonna sub back into four, which was three B plus C being equal to minus two. So I now know B is one, so sub him in. So three plus C is equal to minus two. C is equal to minus two minus three. So C is equal to minus five. Okay, I now know B and C. So I go back to either one, two or three. They're the only ones with D in it to find D. Okay, and the first one is the easiest. So let's sub back into one. Okay, uh, which is B plus C plus D is equal to minus one. So B is one, C is minus five, plus D is equal to minus one. So minus four plus D is equal to minus one. D is equal to minus one plus four. D is equal to three. Okay, and finally, you go for your general form, which was A in cubed plus B in squared plus C in plus D, and fill in for your letters. So our A was two. So we had two N cubed plus my B is one, so N squared. My C is minus five N and my D. So that is your cubic polynomial that represents the pattern. Minus one, 13, 51, one, two, five, and 247. So you can see quite an amount of work for that, okay? Which is why I was saying in the in, in the video that um, they don't tend to come up that often because of the amount of work in them, okay? I think I've seen them in one mock paper. Okay, however, you need to know it. Um, so give it an old practice. If you've enjoyed this video, then why not join us in IT Sligo and use maths in practice? In conjunction with industry, we've designed an exciting new program in electronics and self-driving technologies, which uses cutting edge techniques such as artificial intelligence, computer vision and virtual and augmented reality. You'll need a H5 in maths to qualify. Check out the link below.